you guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're gonna break down Tame Impala Elephant. And also huge shout out to Boss for sponsoring this video and also making that killer octave patch for the Boss Katana. Uh, you can get it for free in the link down there. And also check out the Boss Katana while you're at it. Thanks for supporting Marty Music. Let's break this one down. All right, I have a cool little counting trick to help get through the arrangement. It's kind of weird. The, the notes to play are easy, but the arrangement, the way it's laid out is a little weird. So we're gonna go up to the D note. And I'm using the patch for the katana, so we've got an octave there. We're gonna do single notes. We've got a D note right there, which is the 10th fret. And then we've got an F note, which we can do on the same string up on the 13th fret. And so in the intro, it's one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and N. So right after the four, you go four and N, four and one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But now it comes in, and when the vocals come in for the next two like patterns, it goes one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, uh, uh. And so that's how you have to count it. You start with, and you'll hear with the drum beat, it comes in. Um, you know, in a weird time. So it's it basically the, the intro is straight. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and two, and three, one, two, three, four. So there was one little part there where it's not one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The pattern before the, it's just a straight set, two patterns of four. But the rest always start with three followed by four. So the intro is two patterns of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now the verse comes in and it starts with three, then three measures of four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, uh. And then on the G, which is the third fret, it does one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one. Now this one's straight, two sets of four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Five, six, five, four, five, four, three. And when you hit that, one, two, three, four. The same after the and of four again, that F. So, one, two, three, four, and then one section of that seven, we could call it. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, and then the whole pattern starts again with the vocals. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two. chromatic walk down part and you can hear on the recording it sounds like there's a guitar because it sounds like uh, a guitar tuned down a whole step playing an E minor shape right there at that open strum chord but 
man, you know, it's a single note song. So you can do what you want. I'm going to teach it in standard like this. So you'd play a D minor chord. And if you're using the patch, it sounds very low. So you're starting on the fifth fret G. So that's a C note. And we're going chromatic. Five, four, three, two. And then on the D string, five, three, two. One, open D, and a D minor chord. All right, so the kind of more dance electronic section. It's D and it's straight. And then it's G and it, the chord's G major underneath for one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then it becomes G minor and two and three and uh, with a little tag note and if you're using this patch and so that little bit there, I'm starting on the E note, which is the seventh of the A string. Then I'm switching to an octave below, and I'm playing O, and then O to three hammer, and then the A string. And that should get you through the rest of the parts. So have fun. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that lesson. Also, once again, huge shout out and thank you to Boss for sponsoring this video and making that killer patch for the Boss Katana. Don't forget, it's all free in that link down below. Also, thanks for subscribing to Marty Music if you haven't already. And uh, thanks again for supporting. Hope to see you again. Take care.